after that normally people go ahead and choose this but I, I would suggest not because that can sometimes create problems so I'll go ahead and select I will install the operating system later next and since we would be installing Kali Linux I would go ahead and suggest you uh, so, okay it's uh, going ahead and selecting Linux and then going ahead and se selecting simply Ubuntu if you have let's say any other version such as you can also go ahead and use Debian but I won't suggest that I would suggest using Ubuntu because that's what normally we use if you have 64 bit then you can go ahead and use Ubuntu 64 bit so I would be using the normal one next I would be saving it in my own folder so let me just go ahead and check okay and over here I'll type let's say Kali or I'll just type VMware uh, OS perfect and I'll name the virtual machine as let's say Kali Linux 32 bit perfect and next and I would suggest using two processors that makes it a bit more fast and two cores next and one GB of RAM that's what I would suggest using next and make sure that you use uh, the, the network address translation if you don't use that then you won't be able to communicate with any other virtual machine not even with your own uh, host machine that's the reason and just in case you don't know what host machine is host is your actual computer that's your physical computer and this virtual computer is known as a guest machine so use always network address translation that's NAT connection because if you use bridge networking uh, then the, the guest must have its own IP address on the external network else it won't work if you use host only then it will only connect to the host network and this as it suggests uh, it's self-explanatory that do not use network operating system networking connection so we would be using uh, NAT since we need to go ahead and connect each and every other operating system we have click next uh, we don't have anything to do with this just click next and create a new virtual disk perfect next uh, SCSI next and 20 GB that's what we want it's more than enough for us I'll click next and I'll go ahead and select a place as to where we need to go and install I would suggest going ahead and using it in the same place where you created Kali Linux so I'll just go ahead and make a new folder is there an option over here okay and there OSS and I'll go ahead and save it over here perfect next so as you can see VMware OSS and we have everything over here finish perfect and once I have it over here before I go ahead and install it I need to go ahead and click edit virtual machine because we need to use the we need to insert the ISO that we had so shared four ways I will go ahead and select always enabled and let's check where we have CD we need to go ahead and use ISO image rather than using a physical drive if you have uh, went ahead and created a boot CD out of your ISO file then you can use use physical drive and insert a specific CD inside your operating system if not if you only have the ISO file that we just downloaded which would look something similar to this one that I have over here then I would suggest going ahead and using this use ISO image I browse and go ahead and select the specific file that we need and we have it over here ISO open okay and I would go ahead and ask it to power on this virtual machine okay let me check and I'll just run it let's see okay so this button goes ahead and makes it a full screen window if you want to go out you can just type control alt and you can go out and over here you can see that we have the live uh, that means we don't need to and uh, as I was telling you previously live means you don't need to install anything uh, it will just run itself on the USB or through the ISO file these are the forensic method that means it won't even leave any single trail no matter what and but we would be proceeding with graphic install since we need to go and install that so graphic install and It may take a bit of time though it's very fast and English uh, since I am in India I'll select India American English uh, it can take a bit of time but it's actually faster than installing any other operating system
If you're installing this inside a physical computer rather than on a virtual machine, then you will have to do the same thing. Just install, uh, just uh, insert your boot disk or your USB, whichever you have. And once you have, uh, uh, once you have installed that, uh, you, uh, once you have booted the PC, it will ask you to go ahead and uh, the same thing that you're doing over here, graphing install. And let's see the host name I would be using would be Kali underscore test. That would be the name for this PC okay I'll just go back and I'll type Kali test let's see if that works perfect domain name a skip and the root password it's necessary that we have a root password so I'll just type it okay perfect The only difference in installing it on a uh, physical computer or over here would be this. Uh, if you're using a physical computer, then you need to go ahead and select manual and specify the partition that you have created, the primary partition. If you have not, then you can just go ahead and use the uh, entire disk and it will straight away go ahead and install the VMware. Next, all files in one partition, perfect. It will do everything on its own, create swap of 1GB since we have 1GB of RAM. The remaining, it will go ahead and supply to its external uh, hard disk that's EST4. Whereas uh, Windows uses NTFS, it uses ext4. Select next, write changes yes. Perfect. So it will take quite a bit of time for it to go and install that. So I'll just go and pause it. So by the time it goes ahead and install, also let's go ahead and install the uh, our another machine that would be uh, the Windows one. So perfect over here we'll be using Windows and Windows 7 perfect and now I'll just go and browse it C Finac and VMware I'll go and create a new folder I'll name it as Win7 perfect um yep two perfect and uh 1024 i don't think we would be needing that much i'll just type 512 mb ram that would be more than enough it just suffice just go ahead and click next the same things that we did previously and i'll just go ahead and select 25 gigs because uh or 20 gigs because we won't even need that much perfect and i'll just go ahead and select it in the same Way where we installed it Windows 7 perfect save next perfect and till the time our Linux installs let's see if you could go and install uh, the Windows let's go and see the edit virtual machine and I have the energy file instead of ISO so let's go ahead and see if I could use I actually tout but let's see if we could install it through our NRG file check and let's try to power on this virtual machine and by the time it gets started let's wait okay perfect it's working so I hope that you know how to install a Windows version if you're not then you can still go and see this if you know how to install can straight away skip to the next part where I would go and teach you how to install it on a Mac OS and finally the live CD. So that is it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial I will be continuing with the installation of Windows version.